Alright guys, so we finally got the train and our spontaneous trip. What happened this morning? I don't think they can, I don't think they can hear you. You have to speak into the mic. Woke up and Pete was like, let's I've got an idea. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Now what do you on, think? now we've uh, we've dealt with a few delays but on the way to Brighton. We on. So we finally arrived in Brighton. Hello, after welcome to Brighton. This is Brighton. Hello. And Jamie's actually told me she's never ever been to Brighton before. It's her first time. It's her first time. Yep. I'm going to leave that with you. Let's yep. go Let's go explore. Okay. Come on. I'm going to kill the seagulls. We both just get loads of B-roll. I love Brighton already. I'm going to live here. I'm going to move out from flat. I'm going to leave you in London and I'm going to come here. Okay. We can have a place here. Right here, this is one of my favourite coffee shops ever. You're gonna find out why. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go there. So here we are in this amazing little coffee shop. Well, do you like it? Hello? Hello? One, two, one, two. Hello. Do you like it in here? I love it. It's really quirky. So next time you're in Brighton, make sure you check out, oh, damn it, what's the name? I'm going to put it on the screen right now. This hey. coffee shop, this place. Hey. Oh, whoops. No. Carry on. Yes. Lemon. Honey, that is bigger than you. Yeah? Yes. Yes, I can do this though. So, do you want to go and burn it off in the arcades? Can we? Okay, let's go. Guys, if we're just going to do this purely for views, let's go. Am I, am I supposed to go? Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm pretend. No, there's a child that isn't even scared. So this ride totally isn't scary, is that right? Okay, so we've got two places on this ride. Thank you very much. Cheers. Are you ready? Oh, ready. Okay. Oh, we're going in. Oh, we're going in. We are in. We are in. Oh my goodness, look at how scary it is. Oh my god. I am seriously so scared. <laughs> This your ex is here. <laughs> Here's my official review of that Fortnite Hotel. Scale of one to scary. Scary being scary, one being not scary. Ten. Ten out of what? The scariest. It just wasn't scary at all. Ten so was if so you're scary. visiting Brighton, unless you just want the anticipation of being scared, do not go in the Fortnite Hotel because it's not scary. The anticipation, the fear of fear is your more scary than the fear. Your boyfriend is more scary. Or, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, We're going to go on something more exciting. Oh my goodness, that looks yeah. amazing. I have a, I got some arrow. It's yeah, so please good. Please I've literally got to protect this ice cream because apparently the seagulls are very, very aggressive. Vicious. They're extremely vicious. They want my flake. So while Jamie's having her little nap just over here, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, give you a little bit more insight on why I find that it being stuck in an office or being stuck even at home, it's not a great way to uh, like, run
run your business day to day. I'm a huge procrastinator, but I find by elevating like my energy, my like vibrational frequency, whatever you want to call it, like it inspires me so much. And it might even seem like not the logical thing to do when you've got loads of things to do. Like my to-do list right now is, is really, really long. But I actually find it, I get more done and I come to realize it's not actually so much about a to-do list. It's more so about your priority list. And if you've got a to-do list, you're just going to end up like constantly, like your to-do list is never going to end, right? But by having a priority list, it's really, really cool because what you do is you're like, okay, this is crucial right now. I need to work on this. And actually by taking a day out like today uh, to come do this and you might be watching this being like did you just get back from Thailand yes I did but I find like if I just live my life and live an inspired life do everything that I just want to do within reason I get so much more done and and it inspires me so much more instead of being sat there at home trying to be creative I'm inspired when I'm at home as well but getting out here just allows you those thoughts to flow already being here today we've sat down and we took some time out just to look at what's really crucial in the business right now um, and yeah so it's been really really fun so I want to share that with you and also share these deck chairs that we're chilling in right now deck chair style and i didn't get attacked by a seagull did no, you get yeah, no, did I you no i was no. scared though not today yeah all right guys there's a sexy girl right here hi hey. what's your name john oh can i have your number john do you like this here love it All right, so we are in the lanes. Look at those cakes. Let's get a samurai sword. It's only 8K for this one. It's 8 grand for a sword. Oh, 3K for that rusty old thing. Wow. Go. We're finally home from an amazing day in Brighton, a very long day though as well. You only saw about 10% of what we got up to throughout the day. Uh, so as you can imagine, it was a jam packed full day and really great to spend the day with the beautiful Jamie Huang as well. So thank you for joining us on our date day to Brighton and I hope you got some inspiration. And if you're working too hard and you're just constantly like going, working, working, take some time out, let the universe catch up and then get some inspiration to do whatever it is that you want to do with your life. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow.